My friends, get ready to watch chapter four of Fear Not Failures. In fact, the title of the chapter four is also Fear Not Failures. Uh, we begin this section with a verse written by K. C. Shivappa, whose pen name is Mudurama. Ignore what has happened. March on and on perseveringly. Do the ants of time clock ever move backward? Whoever has gauged time's nature of coldness, time means the living present. Mudurama. Browbeat failure and stand with the head held high. Birth of a human being entails a suffering and sorrow. One has to face the ups and downs of life. They are unavoidable. What one has to do is cultivate equanimity to train the mind not to be depressed by defeat, not to be elated with success. Secondly, one has to set for himself a goal to be achieved in life. Then whatever we think or do will be to achieve that goal. Were we to examine the story of many almighty men of the past, we realize that every one of them suffered defeats at one time or the other in their lives. There may be defeats in their professional or in their family life or in their commitment to society. We also notice that those mighty men were not cowed down by defeat, but converted those defeats into stepping stones to success. They could do it because their willpower was strong and their determination to succeed unsubdued. It is truism to say that all of us are not equally endowed in talents, intelligence, or faculties. But every one of us is obliged to bear some responsibilities either for subsistence or for progress. It would be unwise to expect immediate success in any endeavor which we may undertake. We may fail, but that failure should open our eyes to cognize why we fail. That introspection makes us change our plan or our approach. Experience is a source of knowledge. When our knowledge improves, the chances of our success are greater. Here are a few lines of poetry written by a versatile IAS officer, Siddha Yaprani, whose Namdi plume was Kavyananda, the lines buttress one's strength and determination. He who ventures into fragrant screw, pine or sandal grouse shouldn't be afraid of poisonous serpents. He who longs to acquire pearls, pearls and oysters runs the risk of attack of sea animals. He who dares to collect honey from honeycombs should be ready for the bee's sting. To savor life's beauty and sweetness, you have got to endure the ugliness and the bitterness of life. A systematic and steady cultivation of inner strength and perfect confidence generates the power of surmount all difficulties, even defeats. Napoleon's statement that the word impossible finds its presence only in a coward's dictionary deserves to be etched in letters of gold. He who wishes to live a good and exciting life should know how to get, get out of complex conditions and have the courage to carve a path for himself. Okay? After extricating himself from Twists. As Sanskrit adage says, Dairyam Sarvatra Sadayet. It means it is courage and courage alone that enables you to achieve everything. A Kannada poet gives this clarion call Nade munde, nade munde, nuggi nade munde. It means march ahead and ahead and search to the fore. Besides courage, one should practice forgetting the unwholesome events of one's life. Forgetfulness, like fear, is both a blessing and a curse. Quite often it is helpful. 
to remember the good that others have done to us and forget the nasty things that others have said or done to us is wholesome indeed. On the other hand, remembering the hurts and all, the wounds of the past destroys peace of mind, causes tension. Counselors say that in order to get rid of unwholesome thoughts and events, one should seek support and relief by remembering good thoughts and good events. A poet pulls it, puts it beautiful, beautifully when he says, I have a grand memory for forgetting. Another poet expresses it, ap it aptly when he says, better by far you should forget and smile than that you remember and be sad. Counselors have said, in addition to forgetting the bad of the past and remembering the good, a person should learn to work with others. Good company is good, not only for turning out good work, but it is also helpful in generating thoughts of mutual help and cooperation. Get rid of fears. Fear indicates clearly that one lacks self-confidence. It is a contagious mental aberration. The best way to cure fear is to engage oneself in good activities. The following tips are suggested by the wise and learned to cure one's fear. Buttress your courage and encourage yourself. Free your mind of tumblets and enable yourself to tone up your intellect. Do regular physical exercises. A strong and healthy body fosters a strong and healthy mind. Besides physical exercises, do meditation regularly. This sharpens concentration and strengthens Chaitanya, mental perception. Don't mope or moan or allow melancholia to overtake you. Cultivate willpower which will pull you out of sadness or sorrow. Learn from past mistakes. Don't repeat old mistakes. Avoid unnecessary fear, which is likely to emasculate you. But fear to do wrongs that are a healthy fear. In a very apt smile, a philosopher has said that when you enter a flower garden, just count the number of fragrant flowers blossoming on the plant, but not the number of leaves dropped. Likewise, count and remember a number of your happy experiences in life and not the amount of tears you have shed. Fame or reputation is like your own shadow. It is there wherever you go. Don't try to catch it or hold it because it will eat you. Be assured that it follows you and so march ahead. Similarly, don't go in search of happiness. It is just a condition of the mind and so keep the mind clean, pure and healthy. Don't allow fame to turn your head nor happiness to make you complacent. But the beauty of success or fame in life is that it enables you to face failure boldly and rise high after every fall. We conclude this section with a quotation from Rudyard Kip Kipling, 1865-1936, an English poet born in India. Success is failure turned inside out. The silver tint in the clouds of doubt and you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems afar, so sticks to fight when you are oddest hit. It's when things go wrong that you must not quit. So this is the end of the chapter four. So please await for the video of chapter five, the mightiness of success. How do you find this chapter four? Do comment. So let me know what are your uh, feelings. Okay. Fear not failures. Definitely it is transformed. It is motivating. So just reassure it to me that you are with me. Okay. If you have not subscribed to Jaya Prakash Nath or 
Task Mission Unlimited YouTube channels. Do it right now. Like, share, and comment without fail. Bye bye. Let me see you in the next video.